So what's new in Pixel Composer 1.1.0? The widget can now be navigable using tab or shift tab button and the gradient editor also includes the palette that you can select. There also are a font preview when you're selecting a font in a draw text node. Some area data can now be defined using padding or two point system. There's now a toggle to show a high node preview. And the biggest addition in this version would be the Aspire file importer, which allows you to import Aspire file with a support for layer, for tags, which allows you to create a complex scene in a non-destructive manner. There are also a number of new nodes, like for example the Shadow Caster, which allows you to cast a shadow using a surface as a shadow blocker. A new 2D repeat node, which as the name suggests, allows you to repeat an image multiple times. There's a palette extraction node, there's a random and text combined node. In transform node, you can now hold all key to move only the anchor point. The mirror node now also have the mirror mask output. The VFX and particle node also get a lot of love as well. First, the particle scaling speed properties are now changed to a particle scale over time curve, which should give you more control over the scale. There are also an option to spawn object out of the center. There are also a properties to set the random colors so that each particle can spawn with a different color blending. And a general improvement over the performance, especially with larger number of particles, and when you select a loop option. The scatter node also have a properties to randomize color and alpha. And there's also support for floating seed values. For compost node, you can now hold all key to snap the surface to the background. The normal node also occupy alpha by default, and the bevel node now also accept grayscale values. For shape node, a rectangle is now set to round rectangle by default, and a number of new shape is added. The camera node is also now improved, so it's not just a glorified crop node. You can now zoom in and out of the picture, and you can now add in different layers of element to create parallax effect. The splice sprite sheet node also changed to require manual update, and that's because we also add new properties that will automatically skip an empty surface. This version also brings in a number of bug fixes and other features as well. The full release node will be in the description. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.